So I think, you know, we're, right now we're talking about energy, we're talking about embodied energy of buildings, energy use, um, but still very much in sort of scientific or abstract terms. I think we're all very concerned about it. I think 20 years from now it's going to be much more real uh, in terms of what this means for us. And it's not necessarily just global warming at the global scale, uh, but I think we're going to see material costs uh, really escalating through the roof. So material shortages, energy shortages. Uh, and so it means that we cannot just throw up buildings uh, and think about how they perform later. So the idea of the building's performance, uh, its optimization, uh, the role of the computer in helping us to do that are going to become more and more critical. It's a combination of efficiency and economy because as you build more and more, uh, you know, they, uh, they, they will need to be a certain accountability on how, how usable they are and how economical they are. That the buildings are going to be more livable to the point where people don't actually leave the building because of the mixed-use nature of the buildings, um, residential work space, uh, hotel, retail. Um, the more mixed-use the building, the less likely you need to even leave the building. So I think that green spaces will be added. I think vertical farming will be added to some of these towers over time so that they can sustain more of a normal life living within a high-rise community. We can generate courtyard housing in the sky. We accept courtyard housing at ground level, which doesn't have a view out, but it has a view of your own courtyard, your Japanese house. Why can't we develop that in the sky? If that's acceptable to the market, then you can envisage a whole cluster of courtyard housing in the sky, connected by streets and alleyways and courts, and there you have a whole new building morphology. Uh, when these buildings become, if you will, urbanized, I mean, when they become interrelated uh, and creating more of a network of uh, uh, higher structures that um, uh, use of, uh, of uh, uh, that moment in which the building doesn't become an individual but part of a system could be probably the most important shift on this because density is not only a, a desirable quantity but it, it has become almost a necessity of people. The connections between buildings, maybe it's as a vertical streets, you know, people can actually can commute that uh, between buildings, not just by, but maybe, maybe by, by, uh, by, by a human in a body, you even have some kind of vertical transporting, transportation means you can actually commute between buildings in different ways. You know? So I, that's what I can see. I think tall buildings 20 years from now will, if we go much taller than we're talking about now with some buildings over a kilometer, um, these buildings will have to start bundling. They will have to start interconnecting, you know, start linking one to the other, so that um, in groups of probably three or more, planes, so that uh, together they form a structure that um, you're able to uh, go higher with uh, thinner aspect ratios.